In today's video, we're going to learn a mini scheme that you can use to win more games in Madden 20. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel basically focuses on helping you get better at Madden NFL 20 and ultimately at Madden 21 through scheme breakdowns, tips, strategies, top five videos, as well as film studies and live streams. So if that's something that interests you, do me a favor and just shoot me a text right now. My number is at the top left of the screen. It's also in the description. Uh, and just let me know you watched it. Let me know you appreciated the video. Um, my number is 812-216-3644. And you can ask me any question you have related to Madden 20. Now today we are in our five sets for success series. This is where we break down a new scheme every single week and give it to you for free. And this week we are in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. Now, the playbook that we're going to uh, work out of here, as you see here, we can look through and just kind of test some plays. And what we're looking to do today is identify what would be a good base play. What would be a really good base play for us to be effective and to move the ball. Now, when you're looking for a base formation, what I like to do typically is I like to be in some type of a spread look. Um, some type of a look where I can identify if they're base aligned or not. I can take advantage of alignment and different things like that. So for me, the set that I'm going to use is this trips, um, this Y off trips pats formation. And depending on your team, you can put, you can sub in a fullback at the wing during using the fullback wing package. So some people, if you're playing mutt, you can, you can take advantage of that, get a, get a uh, faster halfback at that full, at that tight end position but we're in regs so we'll just roll with this right here now jumping right into it there's a couple of plays that i want to go over today the first one is pat's y out the second play that i want to go over is pat's drag wheel the third one i want to go over is the play let's see if i can find it here uh, pat's slot out and then tight end deep out okay so we're going to jump right into this. We can also talk about scat, I guess, as well. So let's take Pat's Y out out. Let's put scat in there. But you see, this playbook has a lot of different things that you can do from it. Just a lot of really, really good plays. Um, tight end whip is a really is kind of a secret one, too, that you can come out in that. But the play that we're going to come out in every single time is going to be the play Pat's Y out. And then we'll just talk about the rest from there. Uh, actually, do we have tiny deep out here? Yeah, we do. We have tiny deep out. We have Pat's slot out. Okay. All right. Also, if you guys, um, if you guys want to get my free Arizona offense in Baltimore defense, I'm working right now on releasing that for free to our Discord members. So you can join the Discord, and that is going to help you. Um, you can join the Discord completely for free. A link is in the description for you to be able to do that. And that Discord link is going to help you get better at Madden because you're going to be surrounded by a lot of different people that are trying to do the same thing. And it's kind of a community over there of people who are just trying to get better at the game. So if that interests you, you can join the link in the description. All right. So first things first, let's back the ball up. And because your plays work differently depending on the hash that you're on. So the, the New England Patriots playbook and really the, the core root of it is these post routes right here to me are honestly the core. Now you could do some really good motions and you could do some different things like this to be able to take advantage of some of the you know things that the defense might do. For example, when I run this play, what I like to do is I like to take Adams and I'll put him on a drag. And then from there, I could take Jimmy Graham and I could block him or I could put him on a direct streak right up the seam. I could do any, you know, any of that as well. One of the other things that I could do, if I reset the play, I could take Jimmy Graham, put him on a streak. I could motion Devontae Adams to the left here, and you're going to see he's going to turn him into a corner route. And now I've got a post and a corner route from one play. So when you're going through and you're looking at kind of what to do with plays, what I recommend is specific concepts that work every year. So this running back route works every year, no matter what. You can snap throw that every time. Okay, that's a good route to have because a lot of defenses this year are running heavy, heavy pressure type of defenses. So if you could have a nice little quick route to the running back and then maybe a quick uh you know, what I would probably do with Jimmy Graham, honestly, is this block, block and release cross route is really effective. But you see here, 
uh, it takes a little bit of timing to get that route down, but you can you can easily uh, snap throw that if you get into practice mode and then just work on the timing on this specific route to the back, you're going to be able to get right there and you're going to get that quick five yard, five, ten yard snap throw type of thing. Now, if you want to leave Devontae Adams on his post route, which I would not recommend doing, I would motion him in here and get him kind of compressed and you'll see it's kind of a later, kind of a later read, but we'll show you here. So there's just several different ways that you can go about this, right? So you can motion Devontae Adams over, you can put him on a crosser. What you can also do is turn Jim, turn this into a mesh concept. Very simple little mesh concept right there. And that's honestly probably the way that I'm going to run this play most of the time is running mesh just because I'm such a big believer in mesh. Right? But you can easily do this. You've got two crossers underneath. And then you've got that post route over top. And this post route is going to get open against everything. Now what you could also do with this, because of where the ball is at and where everything's at, when you... When you, if, if you want to bring Devontae Adams across, when you do that, put Marquez Valdez Scantling on a uh, on a streak, and you'll see it's going to kind of clear out the zones for you to get that ball in that post route. Let me show you this against cover two. That was cover four. But again, you can just put something like this right here. It's across, you snap, now you've got a mesh concept coming over, and then you've got that in the back side. So it's just a simple clear out route for that post route. That's all we're really trying to do. And the user, what we're going to do is we're going to put the user in a bind. He's either going to have to go to the post route, or he's going to have to um, he's going to have to go to the underneath crossers. So same thing right here. We're going to mesh underneath, streak post combo, check the mesh, not there. So we can throw that. What's good about having just a stock standard streak on the field, what I'm finding this year more than any year I've ever played Madden is people will run a lot of like a lot of bailing type of defenses. So for example, they may run cover two, but then they may use her the safety. So they're going to bring the safety down. So by having that simple uh, read there to Valdez Scantling, what you'll see here is at the snap of the ball, if they blow a coverage, you can pass lead that ball to the right, and you're going to get a touch, one play touchdown. This is only if they if they blow a, a coverage out of like a cover two or, or whatever. Because you'll also see like in a cover four, I've actually been seeing it more from cover four this year than any coverage, but they'll use her the safety. So the safety will come down to play like the post route, and then what's going to happen is you're going to be able to, to hit this streak over top. Because the, the way the zones work, you're going to be able to just pass lead that right over top, and you can swerve catch it, rack catch it up. Let's talk about man coverage for a second here. So any base play that you run, you want to be sure that it's solid against man. So if I bring Devontae Adams across the formation, and I run mesh underneath, and then I leave that wheel route to Valdez Scantling, you're going to see that wheel route going to roast man to man. It's actually probably one of the better man beating routes in the game. Uh, specifically because it's coming from a wide receiver. Now, you could set your routes to work the opposite direction if you wanted to. So you could take Lazard, put him on the streak. You could take Jimmy Graham, put him on a little um, little in route right here, just like this, a little baby in route. And the snap of the ball now, you're doing the same thing. You're just doing it to the opposite direction. But the post route on the right is not as effective as the post on the left is. So you're going to have a little bit of an issue. It's more of a – it's more of a – it's better as a corner route. You see how it's just kind of a little bit angled. It's not flatter. You want it to be a little flatter than that. But you'll see here if we motion him over, you can run a corner. Now, let's talk about the next, um, or let's talk about man coverage one one step further. So, the crosser, the, the dual crossers has been a man beating concept for years in Madden, especially with the motion snap. But you'll see here, with the motion snap of Devontae Adams, he's going to beat man-to-man -man coverage. The crossers are basically going to act as a pick play, and he's going to be able to get open. All right, the next play that I want to talk about is the play tight in deep out. Now, this play is really effective to this hash. 
So when you're running this offense, it's really important. You're going to get a lot of cover two. And this specific route to Devontae Adams is phenomenal against cover two. You really don't want to do anything to this play, to be quite honest with you. The only thing that I would do is if they're giving you a lot of pressure, I would just block the running back to that side. But you'll see here at the snap of the ball, what's going to happen is Devontae Adams is going to get an outside. He should get an outside release. He didn't there. But if he doesn't get an outside release, you can click on and swerve him to the inside and aggressive catch the ball. But you'll see if they baseline their cover two, which they probably, most people have been baseline their cover two, then what's going to happen is he's going to get a free release off the edge. And he's going to get outside leverage. And you've probably seen this throw a lot, right? He's going to be able to get out and go. That flat concept really is for really is for situations where let me see, I'll show you here. that flat concept is for situations where they're not in the hard flat and you can you can basically click on and swerve catch him up okay all right let's talk about pats and then everything else is the same so your running back is still on this quick little route right here. And that, like I said, it's going to take a little bit of time, but you'll get used to this route. Whoops. Oh, wrong clip. Right there. But it's literally a snap throw. Like it's, it's straight up, like as soon as you snap the ball, throw it. But it's going to be a nice little tender zone. If they're not covering that, it's just you can hit them really quick. Now, if we go to tight end deep out one more time, what you're going to see is you have this little stick route to your tight end. That's going to sit against zone. You can low ball that. And what I would do if I were you is honestly I would just run it exactly the same as sock because this hitch route right here is going to be effective. And you can low ball it. Kind of angle it to wherever whichever side you wanted to beat the coverage and then it's just gonna it's basically a check down read and then what's gonna happen is over the top you're gonna then come and have your your same post route that we love from this formation okay so that is pats or tight end deep out now let's talk about the place scat so scat you have this nice little corner route here to Valdez Scantling, you have a nice little hitch on the left side. You have a seam wheel to Jones. So really, all we're going to do with the snap of the ball, we're going to take Devontae Adams. We're going to put him on a streak. And then Jimmy Graham, we're going to put him on. Uh, we're actually just going to leave Jimmy Graham on his route. And that's all we're going to do. Literally all we're going to do this play. And you're going to see your corner route is going to be very effective for beating the zone coverage. Show it, to you. We'll show it to you again here. So scat. Again, we're just streaking Devontae Adams. That's all we're doing. Lazard, if you don't like the route he's on, you can put him on a hitch route if you want to. But you see that corner route is going to get open against pretty much everything. What they're going to have to do to stop it is they're going to have to go to cloud flats on the outside. Our setup, snap of the ball. You'll see if they have cloud flats out there, you'll see it's gonna be a it's gonna be a tighter throw. It's not it's not gonna be really open, but it's gonna open everything else up because if they have cloud flats, whoops, then that means your stuff on the left side is gonna be wide open. What you can also do if you want to, is you can pick take Lazard, put him on a little flat pattern, and what's gonna happen is this little this little wheel route. Going to be quasi open, but what I would do is just leave him on his on his little his little route. You, you would either leave him on that route, or I would drag him something like this right here. For the snap of the ball. Then you have playmaker options against zone coverage. Let me show you. Let's see here. Let's go to Tampa two. 
me show you patch drag wheel so this play right here is kind of a it's kind of a a cover two beater essentially so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take Devontae Adams you're gonna put him on a streak route and then you're just gonna motion him in the inside one step or motion him across and this is basically four verticals right the route to the tight end will typically beat uh, will typically beat most zones and then that wheel route on the outside will do a good job as well so if they go to like cover four and we go to this play patch drag wheel what I would do is I would take Lazard you'd put him on a streak and then Devontae Adams you can bring him across and you can do whatever you want with him you can leave him on that route if you want to um, but really what's gonna happen is this wheel route is gonna typically be fairly is gonna typically be fairly open as long as we don't get catch tackled especially against man-to-man -man, right man-to-man -man is a it will be a tough well most people that play you in this will run man-to-man -man until you run the wheel routes right but you could even turn this into a simple mesh concept if you just motion him in just a snap snap motion there and now you've got a mesh concept over the top and they're gonna sit at the sideline last play that we've got for you today is the play um, I don't think we've talked about it yet Pat slot out so this is where you get that really good post route to Devontae Adams side now what I love about this play is you have this specific route stock now you need to run this play to the right hash this is why the hashes are so important but you need to run this play to the right hash so now you've got the fade right that is so critically important against cover two you have that fade against um, or to the left side of the field so if they go Tampa 2 on you then what you'll see is you should be able to get that hard pass lead left and eh, didn't quite get it there but you'll see if you motion him to the left here what's gonna happen is it's gonna get him wide But what you can do is you can take this guy right here, Devontae Adams, you can motion him across the formation. And you're going to see it's going to leave him on that corner route. And now you've got that corner streak combination, which is so, so good. The deep verticals are going to go with the fade. And then you, you can actually check that down up there to the other route on the play. With your tight end on this play, what I would do is just I would leave him on his route it's a really nice little pull route and then I would take Valdez Scantling to motion him across and now you basically have recreated recreated a levels concept but that's that's better than a drag route that's gonna beat man-to-man -man coverage and it's gonna be zone coverage that's what's really nice about that route especially if you motion it across the formation so like if they're in Tampa 2 and you go to this play right here and you bring Devon Valdez Scantling across now you're in basically a spread see how he's going to get in underneath in underneath the uh, deep blue zones in a Tampa 2. Now if they go cover 3 on you then what's going to happen is you're just going to work the backside combination. Nah. You can't see because of the, the power moves <laughs> symbol coming up. But anyways guys that's the base formation from the New England Patriots playbook um, it's pretty simple offense to be quite honest with you there's a lot of really unique things that you can do from this formation this is probably one of the most unique passing formations in the game because of how good the post routes are from this but if you're looking to get better at Madden 20 what I want to encourage you to do is right now shoot me a text let me know that you'd like to get better at Madden 20 and I'll hook you up with our discord link you can click on the description if you'd like but shoot me a text. You can ask me any Madden 20, 20 question that you'd like. My number's in the description. I love it when my subscribers text me. really means the world to me to hear from you guys in that way. Um, it just shows me that you guys really do care about getting better. So thanks for watching today, and we'll see you guys in the next video. If you want to check out one of the other videos, looking better to get better in the game, I've got more videos there coming up at the screen right now.